This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's bounce around on our, our march to WrestleMania 27, then we'll get into the show. Uh, Sir Oliver Humperdinck suddenly passes away March 19th. Any old Humperdinck stories you can share with us? Yeah, hey, I'll help you like to smoke weed. Okay. And he was good at it. Uh, he was a great uh, storyteller. Um, John Sutton was his name. Maybe it's John Sutton, I think. Uh, <clears throat> Minnesota guy, a lifelong fan. Not an athletic bone in his body, but he had a great mind. Life of the party. Fun to be around. But <clears throat> he could roll a joint as good as anybody ever saw in wrestling. So, uh, he's that has known value for you in wrestling, huh? That has value in wrestling. <coughs> yeah. Pardon me. So, uh, Humphy was good. Uh, such a good guy. He really was. And he had a good mind. You know, he, he would, he would, he would have been a good, uh, uh, booker or assistant booker. I'm sure you had those roles at various times. Great wrestling mind. Fun to be around. Uh, and, uh, the last time I saw him in person, I think it was at an event in Minneapolis. That's where he was from. And, uh, I, I remember standing outside having a smoke with him, myself, and I'm trying to think who else was there, but oh, it might've been Jack Lanza because he was also a Minnesota guy. It's just great telling stories and being around those guys. And that's kind of what you get at the call for alley club. The interesting thing about it, at the Colorado Alley Club, or not the Colorado Alley Club, well, that too. Colorado Alley Club is a lot like the uh, uh, Gable thing in Waterloo. There's no, there's no segregation as far as st wrestling personalities and the fans. Everybody intermingles. So it's a very unique meet and greet type opportunity. And uh, I'm waiting on you to donate something for that to that museum, Conrad. You should do that. Yeah, we'll make that happen. Something yes, I, I'm, I'm going to, I am, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'll try not to donate anything you want to buy from me. Thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> so, uh, anywho, the, uh, uh, Humphrey is a good guy and you know, he's, he's big and, uh, a little heavy, but he had a real, a real, uh, productive mind and I always consider him a friend. You know, he's, he, he had a good run, man. He, he was. He was so likable. A lot of people wanted to work with him. So, and of course he loved getting juice. He was a good bleeder. So <laughs> he really was, man. So I, I always thought the world was humping. He was a good guy. He was a real close to Kevin Sullivan. And I think that might've been where I really hooked up could, with him. Yeah. Hooked up with it. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.